Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.0.1 .1 to the public. And if you're on the beta program, you'll need to uninstall the beta profile in order to get this. This came in at 286.6 megabytes. Let's take a look at the build number. You can see the build is 15A403. And this particular build fixes a major issue with Exchange servers or Exchange email within your actual mail app if you're using that instead of the Outlook app. From, from Microsoft themselves. That is the major fix that we saw within this particular beta. The 3D touch lag appears to still be there, and this is the Space Gray 8 Plus. And so it's still there, it's still an issue, and that's unfortunate. So really there's some, probably some other bug, bug fixes and things like that, but they didn't really go into anything other than saying this is a security update and a bug fix for Exchange. Apple hasn't really clarified if there's anything else. Now, if we go in here, I ran a Geekbench. This is last week's, so this is on iOS 11, and it's 42.40 and 10.443. If I go over here, this is this week, so 10,476, a little bit faster, and then a little bit slower for the single core. This is going to vary depending on which update it is, and if anything was running, I closed everything in the background, but basically, it's going to be the same for most users, and it will get more and more refined over time. I haven't personally had any issues with iOS 11, although I've heard quite a few people have had a lot of different issues. But it's been really fast and fluid for me, and I really can't complain too much. There are a few bugs here and there, especially with CarPlay and using my Pocket Cast app, with it just not playing and crashing, but for the most part, it's been really good. But if you've found anything else, though, please let us know in the comments below. I'll leave a link to the wallpaper in the description below. Thanks to Cameron and Connor for sending this along. Follow me on Twitter if you'd like to send me some wallpapers. That's normally a good place to send me, or you can send them to me through Facebook and my Facebook page. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.